Hello to all my artsy friends. I'm so excited about this video because it is jam packed with DIYs. Then I'm going to show you how to put everything together into the best DIY hot chocolate bar ever. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the first craft. Every cocoa bar needs a cute little marshmallow character smiling at them as they grab their sweet cup of yumminess. So let's make one with one of these glass cubes I found at Dollar Tree. I started by giving it a coat of flat white spray paint. I kept it upside down when I painted it so that no paint would get on the inside just in case I decided to fill it with something edible. Then I added the cute little face on there with some Sharpie paint pens. I did a little pink paint for the cheeks with a round shaped paintbrush. Then I took a piece of poster board and you can find poster board at Dollar Tree and I traced the top of the jar and then cut that shape out. Next, I took some lightweight spackling and I mixed it with a little white paint. This helped the spackling to not be so chunky and it really smoothed it out so it'll be easier to pipe. I added this mixture to a Ziploc bag with a piping tip at one corner and then I piped it right onto the piece of poster board. I put a piece of a red and white straw in there before it dried, and you can get those striped straws at Dollar Tree. And then I let this harden overnight. You could glue this on top of the jar, but I decided to leave mine as kind of a lid that I can take on and off. I thought it would be fun to have a menu sign that I can interchange the menu for different occasions. I started with one of the lids off the jars I found in the dollar spot at Target. I will also be using these wooden balls that I got off Amazon, but if you wanted to use some ping pong balls or something like these eyeballs that I found at Dollar Tree during Halloween, then those would work just fine too. I drilled a hole in the lid and then also a little notch into one of the wooden balls. I attached a small piece of a wooden skewer and glued it into place. Then I attached the rest of the wooden balls together with a hot glue and E6000 combo. If you don't use the E6000, it may not hold as well, so definitely use that for strength. Next, I used some spray mount to put this candy cane pattern on some foam core. Super 77 is the only way to go, my friends. Then I trimmed it out with an X-Acto knife. When you're trimming foam core, make sure to put the blade right outside of where you want the edge to be. Because when you stick the knife into the foam core, it bends the foam core just a little bit. So if you start outside of the final trim area, you will get those clean trim lines. I cut out a piece of poster board just a little smaller than the foam core. I had this white clothespin and we'll use this at the top so I can swap out the menus. I used these sticky letters. The metallic ones are from Target and the black ones I found at Dollar Tree. Hey, if you just ran across my channel for the first time, I wanna give you a big warm welcome to Artsy Cupcake. My name is Maria, and I love sharing ways to get creative in your home. I make all my DIYs as simple and low cost as I possibly can so that you can be super inspired to make something beautiful for your home. If you love home decor, dupes of expensive items, and you're as obsessed with Dollar Tree as I am, then make sure to subscribe. I'm moving to a Friday posting schedule, but I will occasionally do bonus videos in the week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and that way you'll know right when my next crafts go up. I 
I found these nice labels in the dollar spot at Target recently. We will be using that string to hang our K-cups on a little tree that I also got at the Target dollar spot. I just tied the string around each K-cup and hung it on the tree. Your guests can pull the K-cup from the top and it will come out of that string very easily. For the labels, I took a white Sharpie paint pen and attached these with some string to the jars. I found this sleigh at the dollar spot and thought it was so cute. I think it's meant um, so that you can write something on it, but I do plan on using this as a stand for my cocoa accessories. I've been wanting to make some mug cozies for a while, so I have two ways to make them. Start with some Dollar Tree Christmas socks. They had so many cute designs over there this year. Measure how tall you want your cozy to be and then cut. I wanted to close the rough edge, so I used some hot glue to do that. You could also sew this or use some sewing tape if you wanted to iron it on. Cut a hole for the handle and slip it on the mug. This is so much cuter than a plain glass mug. It's gonna look so good on our cocoa bar. Another option would be to cut the sock in half and then attach a string on one side and a button on the other side. I found this black poster board at Dollar Tree and I measured it into eight equal sized segments. We will be making some hot cocoa bunting to hang on our cocoa bar. I used a white Sharpie pen to create some block letters and I finished off the letters with a really thick outline. This gives it a nice clean look on the edges. After using a hole punch, I threaded some leftover string through the signs. We will be attaching these with some clear scotch tape. I also thought it would be cute to take these Dollar Tree snowflakes and add some string and maybe hang a few in the hot cocoa bar area. We'll see how it looks. A couple more little projects and then you can see everything in its place for our cute Christmas hot cocoa bar. I had a leftover jar that I had painted white and I used some styrofoam inside to hold a few poinsettias and berries. Just a tip, if your berries ever get scratches from storing them away or just from getting beaten up at the store before you bought them, you can hide the white foam that shows underneath by using a red Sharpie paint pen and that'll cover up the scratches. I had found this trifle bowl at Dollar Tree and I made a little bow to put on the front Then I dug around in my never-ending stash of pom-poms and I got all the red and green ones out. I kind of placed them around the outside roughly just to make sure I had the right amount for this project. Then I got to gluing. At the very end, I got nervous that I didn't have another green one, but yay, I found one last green one and it finished off the look perfectly. Okay, so I have this 
three shelf space kind of in between the living room and the kitchen but if you don't have shelves like this you could place this all horizontally on a kitchen island or you could use a kitchen cabinet that you have all decorated up for the hot cocoa bar and just open it in the morning during hot cocoa time and then close it up for the rest of the day. Right now our shelves are styled with an English library kind of vibe, but I have to store all of this away for Christmas, including this gross bug collection that my husband just loves. We compromised though, and it is now tucked into the very corner, <laughs> so I don't have to see it. So tell me, do you have a home decor item that you had to compromise with your spouse? Let me know in the comments section below. Okay, so I'm just putting everything away, including this pretty little thing made out of an old book. I did a video on this if you want to make one for yourself along with a bunch of other flowers made from old books. I had also made this stand out of Dollar Tree items and I will be using this in our hot cocoa bar. I always take the opportunity to clean a space before I style it with the next look for the season. I thought some chocolate mint candy canes would be so yummy in a cup of hot cocoa. If you guys don't know this, I have a big sweet tooth, so anytime I can sweeten up hot cocoa anymore, I'm going for it. <laughs> and now for the fun part, styling everything that we made and putting all the tiny details together. That dish towel came in a set of two and I found them at the Target dollar spot this year, just a couple days ago actually. Those window panes were also a dollar spot find. I thought they would be great to add some depth instead of just having a white wall in the background. I hopped up on a ladder to put a bit of snow and just a couple decorations with some height on them. Nothing that anyone needs to reach will go up here, just decorative items like the circular sign I had made in a previous video and then that small flower arrangement that we just put together. I attached those snowflakes to the back of the banner. and added a few jingle bells and snow to any empty areas. And here is the big reveal. I just love how festive this looks. It is so warm and inviting and the perfect way to make guests or your loved ones feel nice and cozy for the holidays. It also makes such a cute setup with all the little details and fun Christmas accents. I'm looking forward to keeping this up all season long. It really brings in some Christmas cheer to some otherwise plain bookshelves. Make sure to subscribe right over here so you'll know when my next Christmas video goes up. And if you're wanting more holiday inspiration right now, I put together this playlist for you right over here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.